In this tutorial, I will show you how to create email automations in Axiom AI. We'll be using Axiom AI, which is a fantastic tool. It allows you to create browser automations. For our project, we'll be scraping the data from CoinMarketCap using Axiom AI. Specifically, we'll be scraping the trending cryptocurrencies, then We'll be writing some JavaScript code to format our data that will make our project low code. Following that, we'll automate the sending of our data via email in Axiom AI. You can create an Axiom AI account at axiom.ai. You'll need to download Axiom AI and install the Google Chrome extension for it. You can begin the installation process by clicking Try for Free. The installation process is clear. Rest assured, Axiom AI has a free plan. You can view the pricing page to check out all of their plans. For convenience, I've timestamped the video in the description. To begin, open the Axiom AI extension on Google Chrome. You may have an example project showcased for you if you're new to Axiom AI. You can keep review or delete it. Together, we'll be creating a project from scratch. Before creating our project, click APIs and external services. You'll want to connect Google Sheets. It's an easy one-click process. I've already connected my account. Once you've connected your Google Sheets account, click Create New Automation. Let's title our automation while we're here. And let's call it Trending Cryptocurrencies. The first task our automation should complete is the scraping of trending cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap. Let's go through how to do that. You'll want to click Create New Automation. Then build your own axiom by adding steps one by one. And the first task we want our automation to do is to get data from a web page. We can now define the data we want. Ensure that you're on the correct web page, CoinMarketCap Trending Cryptocurrencies, and click Get Current URL in Axiom AI. That will insert the correct URL, which our automation should be accessing for the data. Now we can select select data. It's here where we can define the specific data that we want from the page. Specifically, we want the cryptocurrency name and price. Let's start by selecting cryptocurrency names. After the first view, you'll notice that Axiom AI recognizes the specific data we want and highlights it. That's perfect. We also want the price of the cryptocurrency. Let's click add a column. And again, let's select the cryptocurrency prices. And after the first view, you'll notice again that Axiom AI recognizes the data we want and highlights it. We have now defined the data we want to scrape from the page, name and price. Let's click confirm. And the only other setting we'll want to adjust here is max results. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to limit my results to 10. I want to respect the website that we're using. However, you may wish to change this when building your automations. Now let's click save and confirm. We'll now want to click add a step and we'll want to insert write JavaScript. Let me explain why we're including code in a no-code project. We don't want to send the data we've scraped as it is in an email. The reason being, the name and price of cryptocurrencies wouldn't be in conjunction. The name of cryptocurrencies would appear in one array of data and the price in another. Here's what it would look like if we sent the data we've scraped as it is in an email. With a little bit of code, we can organize the data. We can place the name of each cryptocurrency next to its corresponding price. 
that makes it readable for people. A little bit of code will extend our project and make it low code and even more powerful. Learning a little bit of code can really help enhance your no code projects. I'm not a developer, let alone a JavaScript developer, but I can code bits here and there. Often that's all you need to be able to extend your no code projects. If you're a developer, you might have a better solution to the code that I'll be writing. Enough chatter. Let's code some JavaScript to make our data more readable. I'm going to begin by defining a let variable named crypto name. This variable is going to hold the name for each cryptocurrency that we scrape. To save that specific data to this variable, you'll want to click insert data and scrape data. We define the data in the last step. We only want to save the name of cryptocurrencies to this variable. Hence, deselect the price column and click save and close. What I'm going to do now is remove the quotations from around the data and end that line of code with a semicolon. We're going to do something similar for the next line of code. We're going to create another variable. However, this will hold the price for each cryptocurrency we scrape. I'm going to define a let variable named crypto price. This variable is going to hold the price for each cryptocurrency that we scrape. To save that data to this variable, we again need to click insert data, then scrape data. And this time, we only want to save the price of cryptocurrencies to this variable. Hence, we can deselect the name column and click save and close. And as before, we can remove the quotation around the data and then the code with a semicolon. We now have two arrays of data in the variables, one for name and one for price. With that, we can create an iterator to map the name of a cryptocurrency to its price. I'm going to define a let variable named message. Within this variable, I'm going to create an iterator which maps the name of a cryptocurrency to its price. I'll start by calling the crypto name variable and adding dot map to the end. Map is a method in JavaScript and we can use dot map to create a newly populated array. I'm going to add two sets of brackets after dot map. It's within these brackets that we're going to write the code which will format our data as we wish it to be. Within the second pair of brackets, I'll write lm, then place a comma and i for index. Outside of those brackets, I'll create a rocket with the equal sign and an arrow pointing to the right. What I refer to as a rocket is actually an arrow function expression. It's an alternative to traditional function expressions in JavaScript. After the rocket, we can begin concatenating the data at the index using the plus operator. I'll start by entering lm, then I'll use the plus operator. Following that, I'll open up a pair of double apostrophes for a string and enter a colon with a space to the right. Again, I'll use the plus operator to append to the message. Now I'm going to call the data in crypto price and I'm going to call it at its index. And following that, outside of the brackets, I'm going to enter dot join. Within the brackets, I'm going to define how to join the data. Hence, I'll enter br to represent a new line and I'll finish that line of code. Finally, we'll want to return the message. That's all the code we'll need for the project. Let's click save and confirm. To learn more about iterators and JavaScript in general, I suggest starting with the JavaScript course on Code Academy.
It's free and offers a great introduction. We'll now want to click Add a step and we'll want to include Read Data from Google Sheet. Let me switch over to show you my Google Sheet. It has one email and that's my address. To automate the sending of the data to more addresses, you would simply add their addresses one below the other in the Google Sheet. Let's connect the Google Sheet to Axiom AI. You'll want to click Share and copy the link to the Google Sheet. Once you have the link, you can open Axiom AI and then you can paste that link into Spreadsheet URL. That will detect your sheet and allow you to select the sheet name. In our case, we only have one sheet and that's named Sheet 1. And the first cell in our Google Sheet that contains an email is cell A2. A1 is a header. Hence, let's enable first cell and enter the first cell which contains an email and that is A2. That's complete. Hence, let's click Save and Confirm. We'll now want to click Add a step to add the final step. And we'll want to insert send an email. We'll want to dynamically insert our recipients into email addresses from our Google Sheet. Hence, let's select Insert Data and insert the Google Sheet data. And as we can see, the correct email address or email addresses will show and we can click Save and Close. We'll set the subject of the email to Trending Crypto currencies and now we come to the fun part the email body let's do the following for this so all right hey ravinda here here are the cryptocurrencies which have been trending in the last 24 hours below that text I want to dynamically insert the data we arranged in our code. Hence, let's select Insert Data and insert the cold data. Don't insert the scrape data. Now it will appear blank, that's okay. We can click Save and Close. I'll finish the email body with the following text. I'll email you soon with more trending crypto currencies. And I'll finish that off with my name, Ravinda. That's complete. Hence, let's click Save and Confirm. We can now minimize this part of the automation. Now, once we click Run, you will get Chromium pop-up and scrape the data we selected from trending cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap following which a perfectly formatted email will get sent to the recipients which were entered. Let's click Run and see what happens. I'll go quiet for a moment. Now if we look in our inbox, we'll find that the email has arrived and it's perfectly readable. Fantastic. And before concluding, I want to open Axiom AI and show you the settings. Click the cog icon along the top. You'll notice that the schedule option appears. Now you must have a paid plan to set the automation to run at a set schedule. However, that doesn't stop you from opening Axiom AI once a day and running your created automation. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish regularly, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.